Canadian Light Source is located at the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon. It was launched in 1999. More than 3,000 scientists have used the CLS more than 5,000 times. A synchrotron is a source of brilliant light that scientists can use to gather information about the structural and chemical properties of materials at the molecular level. CLS consists of several components such as the electron gun, linear accelerator, booster ring, and storage ring. The process begins in the electron gun. High voltage electricity, approximately 200,000 volts, is passed through a heated cathode to produce pulses of electrons. As electricity flows through the cathode, it will heat it until e electrons are emitted. A nearby screen is given a short, strong, positive charge which pulls the electrons away from the cathode. The electrons gathered from the electron gun are accelerated toward the linear accelerator, also known as LINAC. A series of cavities with microwave radio frequency fields in the LINAC provide energy to the electrons that are accelerated to an energy of 250 million electron volts. At this energy, the electrons are traveling at 99.9998% of the speed of light. The electrons are pushed by the microwaves. The LINAC produces pulses of electrons for 2 nanoseconds up to 140 nanoseconds for injection into the storage ring. The electrons must travel in a vacuum to avoid colliding into atoms or molecules and disappearing. As the electrons circulate, they receive a boost in energy from 250 to 2,900 mega electron volts from microwave fields generated in the radio frequency cavity at 2,856 megahertz. The cylindrical RF cavity delivers a high energy kick to the electron bunches during each turn around the ring. It operates with a radio frequency of 500 megahertz. The booster ring cannot increase the speed of the electrons to or beyond the speed of light but the electrons now travel at about 99.99% of light speed. There are two types of electromagnets in the booster ring. The blue dipole magnets weigh over 3,000 kilograms. The magnetic field created by the magnets is used to direct the electrons around the booster ring. The field of the green four-pole magnets are used to force bunches of electrons into a fine beam within the vacuum chamber. When the electrons reach 2,900 mega electron volts, an injection system transfers them from the booster ring to the storage ring. The process repeats once per second up to 600 cycles, which is about 10 minutes, as required to reach an average circulating current of 250 mega amps. Once in the storage ring, the electrons will circulate for 4 to 12 hours, producing photons every time the 6,800 kg dipole magnets change the direction of the flow of the electrons. Some straight sections also include space for special magnets called insertion devices. While dipole magnets change the direction of the electrons, thus producing light, multi-magnet insertion devices called Undulators and wigglers move the electrons back and forth many times creating a narrow beam of much more intense light. A wiggler produces a wide range of high energy x-rays. An undulator produces even higher intensity x-rays with a narrower range of energies. After each turn there is a photon port to allow the light to travel down the beam lines. The CLS has 13 beam lines for scientists to use. A beamline consists of an optics hutch. This is where the synchrotron light is focused and the wavelength is selected. Next, it follows into the experimentation hutch where the appropriate technique is selected for the experiment. Finally, in the workstations, scientists can operate the beamline and measure light as it is absorbed, reflected, refracted, or scattered by the sample. In the optics hutch, there is a device known as the monochromator, which enables researchers to choose the wavelength of light. It separates different wavelengths using optical dispersion or diffraction. Selected wavelengths of synchrotron light are focused by the mirrors in the optics hutch onto the sample in an end station. Each end station is designed specifically for the types of experiments conducted on that beamline. The synchrotron produces 13 different beamlines, some examples being biomedical imaging and therapy, resonant, elastic and inelastic soft x-ray scattering, and synchrotron laboratory for micro and nano devices. 
Thanks for watching.